Hello fellas and for this video I have the really old Makita cordless drill 8412D and this one was made in 98 so it's uh, 24, 26 years old and Makita manufacturing in Europe, UK so it's a really old school drill and of course I have a problem for it it's not even old but it's not working so now I need to check why it's not working Okay, and one of the problems, you can see the nice corrosion on the contact gear, so I will try to clean them because we have the same on the inside. And so maybe it's some paint. Okay, now I want to insert the battery again and test it again. Okay, seems to be working. I will remove the gear. Okay, so it works very nice and of course for this one I want to disassemble it and clean it a little bit to make it look more better, maybe more like new. I have the jar for the small greasy part like the bearing, like the washers. We have the spring here, of course, we can see the clutch gear or something similar here, okay, a lot of going on here, we have the pin, 
I will take it out. Then the spring pushes the gear. We have the washer. Okay, the spring. The washer again. We have the holding ring, spring ring. It's for the bearing. The bearing feels really good. Just a spring ring. Of course, now we need to take out a ball bearing. I'll try to mark it a little bit. Okay, no, not going so easily. So I will put it on a vise, I think, or we can put it on a check, for example. I don't want to hammer too strong to not damage this anvil. Okay, so now we have the the gear and it looks good <coughs> here we can continue to disassemble it what we have here we have nice gears the washer Okay, now we have some gears here, the big gear, the small gears, pins for the gears, of course the washer, okay, yep, yeah, all this part can go to the cleaning, now the motor, Nice, we have the MOSFET with a cooling pad or something similar. Of course, we have the dust here, our rubber, plastic parts. Here's our switch forward, and it's both on F. Okay, what we have here, we have the ball, of course we have the check here, the screw inside, yeah I think I will wash it like that. The hammer switch. I need to not lose the spring here. This piece is for the hammering. Yes, we can see the screw. Our button has fallen out. The screw. Now I can remove the plate, I will just clean some grease from it and it will go to the cleaning jar. So 
So what is left for us is the housing. With some grease. Plastic pieces. Okay, the sponge. You have not seen where it was. Probably somewhere here. Maybe somewhere here.
okay we have some small clean for this one and this one looks not bad now not dirty as it was we are pretty happy with that
okay now we can try to assemble it so I will start from the bearing We'll slightly hammer it. Okay, we have the bearing in place. Now goes that seal clip. I will mount it to the pliers. clip is on the assy now I see that I need a washer I not quite remember which washer was here I hope this one okay now goes the spring then we have another washer and we can check with you can see the out marks of the washer yeah, it seems to be negative here okay this one I think we need the sleeve here, probably this one, then we have the gear, can we connect it? the pin here then the sleeve and the second gear now I want to see the washer here again the spring without the screw It will be the bigger washer. Okay, something not looks right here for me. So I will just check how it will look here. Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, I still need to release it. I can't hold it like that. And now we can go for the hammering part. Okay, what we have here. We have this part assembled and I have not assembled them, just clean it. So they all are assembled. 
of course there's a ball missing here I will put some grease here and I will put the ball I hope I will not lose it now I have this part and uh, I need to insert the spring here this plate too as you can see we have the <coughs> the spring here for the bars to hold in for example if it's a hammer or non hammer mode this springs hold it Then I have the cover. And okay, of course I have the housing and I need to put everything in it. Okay, then I have this gear. This gear goes with the washer, it has the bumps for the pins. Then I can mount the gear here and of course I need to put the three gears. Maybe it will be easier. It's not I said small piece of dirt, uh, it's a piece of paper ok, aligning them so now the gears are aligned and here goes the washer and all this part goes to the motor but of course in the housing so I will try to insert everything. Okay, let's fold it out. So we have the motor. I have cleaned it a little bit from dust, not polished this one. And okay. Now I think I need to put this plate here because this one needs to be screwed in with the button. And okay, probably it will go like that. I have the mode changer here the screw for it I think it's a little bit too hard. Okay, now it can move. It's a first and a second speed.
Okay, now we can see we have the hammering parts here. I want to insert them. Probably will try to do that like that. Lost the plate. Okay, this one seems to be almost not less. Okay, push it out. And what I want now, I want to see this plastic piece and the groove here. Okay. I need to take it out a little bit. Okay, got it in. Now this one goes deeply. Just making sure that the system is working here. Yeah. When the button is pressed from the down, the gears here cannot be touched. When I press this one down, the gears can be touched and the hammering mode is activated. Have some piece of paper here. Okay, now we know that we need to put this one here on the Armature and I will put some grease with the washer here and align in the gears. And I can see that I'm missing the uh, sleeve for this one. Of course I have it, just not mounted it yet. Yeah. This small sleeve must go here. Or I hope so. Maybe I will put some grease here. Just get it aligned everything. Yep. Looks nice now. Okay, we'll try to put the wires in a housing. Now it's starting to look like a drill. Now we need to check for this one. What we have here. Okay. We'll check if everything looks good here. Okay, this one must be pressed. And yeah, if this one will go here, if I will press this one, go here, okay, we will check that. Okay, we will check and uh, now they are both working together and if I will push it push it out the okay, gear here will go like that and what will change it will be the only okay it will be on the gear who is working okay it looks strange for me now 
and now I will not look the the assemble video. Now this one is working and yeah, this one is free. When this one releases it, this one must work. Yep. And this one will be free. Okay. Now it looks better for me. So now how will go the spring? The big washer. And the tiny washer I think. I will just take the spare parts wheel. Bit tiny in the bearing, I hope so. Okay, and everything goes in here. Yep. Looks like it now. Okay. The wires are in place. And... Um, The left right button is here. I have not mounted it. Okay, I will lift this one and I can mount it. Do we have it now? Yes, we have the left and the right button in the place. Okay, the nut, the balls, we have the switch. Okay, dokie, okie dokie. Yep, it's moving here. Have the cover. <laughs> you cannot get it in a place. Okay, got it. Okay, looks nice now for me. How it's for you? Maybe we can put the grease here. I should remember. We, uh, remember, it not was a lot of grease here. And I think it's it was for the reason because all the grease will go out if it will be a lot of it. I will put a little bit more here. But basically now the gears will spin around and the grease will get all the way on the housing, on the gears and so on. So now I think it's about the time to Try to close it. And okay, I have almost forgot the, the sponge. The sponge was here on the housing. Basically, it's, I think it's to protect the motor. We have the strap. I have not cleaned it, forgot it, so. We'll clean it on the tool. The strap, I don't know if it's the strap from the genuine tool or not. Okay. Just making sure that that the housing is closed, yep, the housing is closed, the speed switch can move, I hope so, yep, and, okay, 
we'll see it. Okay. So now I will close the housing. Now for the battery holder, we have different type of screw. Okay. <clears throat> I need to insert the nut here. Got it right. Okay, so we have assembled it, and uh, I don't know it's a repair or restoration or or what kind of video. Have a little bit dirty. Of course, I have cleaned the house, and we can see that it looks a little bit better than it was before. And of course, it's time to turn it on. Okay, we have the drivers. Switch going backward a little bit, so I need to check it again. Give him a bite with some more dead, but yeah, we can try it. Works <laughs> not bad, of course, it's really not made for the for the use, so I don't know, maybe it will go to the shelf or something and just be like a decoration. For now, thank you for watching this restoration video. Don't forget to like, like and comment my videos. And for now, bye.